Oh my god. What have I walked into? <laughs> what are we looking at here now? I have everything set up. Uh, can you guys hear okay? Is everything all good as far as sound value? Life. Go buy the crap. <clears throat> this could be tough. This could be a really tough game. Um, all right. Oh god, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Ah. <laughs> oh, it is it is one of those evenings where uh, you got the allergies going. It's it's a tough one. We got vegetable e-storts eating section. <laughs> Just drink beers. Don't think. Actually, as long as there isn't any like. Challenges. Maybe ask Connie. I would be I would be so down to run like a beer tasting and talking about show online. I may have saved my health. <laughs> That's probably true. No doubt. Uh, Grant in game, but not streaming. That's true. His internet is still really crap right now. So because of that, it means that if you were to stream, it would be like really low quality. Um, so a little bit unfortunate. Casting any L until dead, almost dead IRL. I know it's a problem. Oh God, I need to do a couple other things before I head out. I need to like. Damn it. Uh, this actually sucks. Three and a half hours, but I still need to weed whack and mow my lawn. And then I also need to do the dishes and a couple other things. Oh, uh, this could be rough. Um, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I have a lot of things I need to get done today, guys. But hopefully I'm able to get them all done. Um, get Grant to co-cast with me? We could do that. I'm not sure if he would be down or not. It's also... Oh my god, they brought him in! They actually stuck him in there and he wasn't able to move out. First blood going the way of Ryu. Give this game 20 minutes max. He is co-casting with me. See right here. The thing is, is that like also, I, I don't know if that's something that he would be down for. Um, but I could ask him. Pile I die off lane. You have a 15 more test they do tomorrow and I haven't even started. I'm sorry man, that's a rough life indeed. It's a, it's a good meme. <laughs> yeah, I uh the new owners of our building who like are going to probably jack up the rent on us are uh are coming tomorrow. And so I need to meet with them. And I need to make sure that the house looks good before then. What's up, Mr. Dakota? How's it going? Just have your wife do the chores? Seriously, don't do that? No, I know. I'm I'm the one that does the chores in this house, pretty much. MSS, maybe gonna go down? Not gonna be able to find the kill as of yet. So he should be able to uh, be fine now with that south back up. Zarda, hello, hello. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. It's a little bit more low-key tonight. I want to save my, my little vocals. Oh my god, that's a combo and a half. MG caught out again and is going to end up going down. I mean, Shadow Demon Morana is pretty good. It's pretty strong. 
<laughs> oh, lyrical genius. What's up, man? Hmm. Lyrical W? I need to get one of those. I need to figure out my emotes. I just recently got subscribers now for the first time. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about that, but I haven't sorted out all the emote stuff. Um, which is something I still need to do. Can I show some leg again today? Oh, of course. Arrow coming in is going to hit onto Ritsu in a lot of trouble. The Sunray trying to find the heal, but not going to be able to be there. Now, one thing that we haven't talked about a ton, uh, since we haven't talked about almost anything, is the interaction with Oracle Huskar. Obviously, there's a nice little bit where you're at very low HP. You're not going to end up going down because of False Promise. But the other combo with that is that you do also have Purifying Flames. And this ends up essentially being able to get a really big reduction in the amount of damage that you take, but the same amount of heals. So Huskar Oracle is way more disgusting than the uh, the, the Huskar Dazzle that you end up seeing. How many games before he gets unvouched? I don't know. It's going to be rough. It's... Uh... I, I, there's a lot of tension that happens, I feel like, sometimes in these leagues, but at the end of the day, everybody just wants good games. I'm really excited to see more of this Centaur stuff. I mean, Ryu's been doing pretty good up here in the top lane. I said I was going to flame him, but I legitimately can't at this point. All right, Courier, you need to run away. Oh, man, that's not being able to catch him once you are. A couple more hits as the Soul Catcher did connect. MSS still fine for the moment. Doesn't have the mana for Sunstrike, so it looks like, at least for now, Yawar should be good to survive through this. As I see and miss a kill up in the top lane, I'm tiring, I'm terrible, it was awful. The low cooldown, high damage from Double Edge ends up being enough to find that kill. So, 4 and 0 start. My goodness. Radiance top tower is under attack. Pretty good beginning right there for the Dire, and you can see that Crit's still looking for another initiation. If you are is not careful, this could definitely be an easy kill. Well, he does have that arrow with a leap and two points in the Star Storm, but not going for it as of yet. I mean, they really want to go for it. Uh, not able to hit as of yet. There's going to be the Star Storm, but not enough damage. And yeah, he's outie. Oh my god, did I miss it? Nope. All right. <laughs> Ryu had a killer game as PL last time he played, even though it was reflected by the KDs. Yeah, he. I saw the very end of that one. He made a really good decision to go for the... Just going for the throne at the end. Let me turn off the volume on that, because it should not be that loud. Oh, jump. Now, maybe a little bit of a step too far. The sun ray is going to come through, but he should be fine. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, as I missed the invoker killing off the oracle. Where did he die? Damn, really? Nice sunstrike. All right, so you'd say, I was talking about this previously, but you take a look right now, just at about half HP, he's got the magical resistance of 35%. That's actually not all the way up now. The arrow is going to connect onto MG, but isn't going to be enough, so he just ends up being able to walk that one off. Meanwhile, Mad is going to die to those burning spears, and maybe now can find some more. Bambo is going to be up front and center, runs into him a couple more shots, and they end up being able to find that girl. Meanwhile, Crit is going to go for the leap away. MG reading it. It's going to throw out that uh, fortune's end for the moment keeping him in place, but there's not going to be a way for him to catch up there, unfortunately. So Crit is out and fine for the moment. Pylai Dai. Pylai Dai is a very, very good player. <laughs> um, as we see another kill going their way, Centaur Warrunner getting away on pretty much nothing and able to dodge away from that Shadow Poison as well. Nicely played. <clears throat> The damage is actually absurd. 400 damage on a 5 second cooldown. Granted, you do do a lot of that to yourself as well. But now that he's going to be building back into this cloak and stuff. Alright, he wants to set up on him. This is going to be a really good one. Can they find the kill? Is going to be maybe enough. Ryu takes the damage back the other way. They do end up being able to finish him off. Fog on that Phoenix for the moment. And bottom lane. One already goes down. Another one as Huskar kills off the Naga Siren. 
But back and forth trade simultaneous kills across the map. Nicely done. Yeah, I, I dodged. He dodged his ally. I'm sorry, guys. I woke up about an hour ago. I jumped in. Just wanted to cast any L. I'm trying to get myself acclimated to China time. <laughs> I apologize. I'm the worst. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Is anyone else's steam down? Oh, my steam isn't down right now. I don't think. Oh man. Bambo and MG just run into each other. No big deal. Ryu is getting a little bit fresh and fantastical. Is gonna run into fog, wants to do some damage here. <laughs> He's actually just running at them. He's actually gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage as this game goes on. Go my low my mon, I'm finished. Okay. <laughs> I got fired, guys. Um, alright. He wants to think about something. He's a little bit concerned about his situation. MG level 4, not a, not a whole lot. Social leg on stream. I did it yesterday. They, they really wanted to see my leg. Uh, and I wasn't exactly sure how I felt about that. Oh. Just the bestest. It's a three-week cup. Oh, interesting. I was not aware of that. Alright, mid lane. MSS, it's worth noting, has been like, for me at least, probably the standout player in these, these matches. Oh god, am I going to caster's curse him right here? Oh no, I did it! I did it wrong! He's not going to be able to get away from that one. That was the worst caster curse thing I've ever seen. It's literally as I was talking about how awesome he's been playing. He ends up going down right there now. Mad also going to be chasing. They are going to have a follow-up here. A lot of damage can come out. They get a nice disarm and that's going to be a kill. Ryu finds it now. MG in a lot of trouble as well. Bambo is there and a double for the centaur in the safe lane. Doing big things and... With already the cloak up and online in the hood, he's going to be in a position to maybe go for that blink and roam around the map finding these kills. Dyer's top tower is under attack. My God. Radiant's middle tower. Is under Quite attack. a bit of damage indeed. I'll still stick with what I was saying though. That I feel like MSS has been like a ridiculously good player all throughout these matches. Um. Whether it's on the Timber or the Invoker or whatever, he's been showing his stuff. Trying to grind out the matches and you know, be a part of whatever top team. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Bambo, Drum of Endurance build first. It looks to be. Fogged, meanwhile, is probably, I'm assuming, going back for that Midas. We've just got so much burst damage on the side of the Dire right here. I mean, you start thinking about what ends up happening. If you catch somebody with that Shadow Demon, just get them in the bubble, and then you've got a follow-up either with A, an arrow, a stomp, and then all across the map you're going to be able to have the uh, the Sun Strike. Like, it can really just kill almost anybody. And not to mention the 400 damage nuke on a 5 second cooldown. If there's a way in which this hero becomes broken, it's through double edge. Alright, Chronosphere just gonna be dropped. They have the Sunray, nice defensive disruption for the moment, and Ryu should be fine with that. Thinking about going for a bit more, the arrow. I thought I heard it, but it doesn't look like that's the case since Marana just now TP'd in. Bambo's going to be here. Does have sleep available if he wants to go for it, but not going in as of yet. Futsa disconnects. Still fine. Radiance Middle Tower. Um, yeah, Ritsu can keep on doing his thing. I'm looking over here. You are trying to scout everything out. They don't end up hitting anybody as of yet with that arrow. There's going to be the crush, the silence. All right. Now also a jump away. Ryu going in. He is not even care. What are you doing? Oh my God. He is going nuts. So they do end up dropping the supernova for this one. He has another ability to jump if he wants to, but that was a bit deep for that one and. Fog ends up being able to come in and get a little bit of heals off the back of that. 
arrow trying to find it. Oh, God, he almost walked into it. Ryu, what are you doing? Why are you going to jump in like that? Sunstrike, maybe? Oh, God, Ritsu dropped a little bit, not dead as of yet. This is the pounce with the leap coming out, and with that, they should be able to get out. So Shadow Demon kills off the Huskar. One armlet toggle, too little. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Um, okay. Alright, maybe. Arrow, gonna find Palai Die. He goes down. Now, Fog, they do have a Sunstrike. Oh, dodge! Oh, God, Fog! Get out of there! Run away! He's gonna be able to escape at least for now. My goodness. I was very close to being tragic, but able to escape in the end. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. My goodness. Fog's gonna run away again. You do have this big bad centaur continuing to push down the lanes pretty quickly. Although, is not picked up his Blink Dagger as of yet. Went for the casual wand. Crit Arcane Boots online for Mr. MSS. He's got himself a nice little Hand of Midas, by the way, as you guys can all see up here. They got the nice little production value. Players' names, and those are also the heroes that they're playing. It's all correctly labeled. Don't worry, it's cool stuff. <laughs> Mad looks to maybe be walking into the rush, but I don't know if they realize that this is happening. Uh, Bashed? Oh god. Alright, Ritsu's fine. He should be good through that. Yeah, he gets the Aegis up and online. He's got the armlet, he's got the lifesteal, everything that he could want. He wraps around, but not gonna get hit there by the sun strike. Armlet toggling always just makes me so scared. Do, 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 do. They do scout out that Yawar is there. <laughs> or at least somebody is there. I'm pretty sure you can assume that it's going to be him, though. I do like this Aether Radiant Lens build. Like, you look attack. at the, the bubble range now for how far away you can cast it, and Soul Catcher, and like how far Shadow Poison goes. That Demonic Purge also is something that attack. you're going to want to be able to cast from afar. He's going to start stacking these up. Ritsu does need to be a little he careful. He actually is just going to get Sunstruck! Oh no! Highlight Eye trying to find Mad, but not going to be able to get him with anything more than the time dilation. Good plays! Ritsu, don't stand still for too long. Got a Sunstrike to deal with. And the whole time through, you see up here in the top lane, you got the Nagasarn pushing this out. Uh, they are going to wrap around. Mad still being ran after, but he's been able to solo hold this against five heroes for this amount of time. Like, arrows are starting to come in and people are starting to come and try and contest. But he's been doing a really good job, and now five stacks of that Shadow Poison on Pilot Die. He needs to be careful here. It's not an insignificant amount of damage that comes out, and... Oh, gotta be really aware. Oh, Sunstrike. Uh, okay, not gonna find a kill. Meanwhile, top lane. Bambo should be able to walk away from this one, no problem. And the whole time through, you start to take a look at the macro sense of this game. 5,000 gold lead into the favor of the Dire with right around 3,000 experience. And definitely feeling to be in a pretty good position at this state. Ryu jumps in, Sunstrike gonna come as well. They find the kill! Invoker is the one that gets it. Crit was walking in with the arrow anyway, so it was always meant to be. But at the end of the day, they're gonna now go down and try and see if they can chase this Oracle. Pretty good fate edict. Gonna keep him alive for the moment. He can break that though for the moment as well. And the damage is gonna probably be more than enough. Ritsu taking a good bit as well. And actually he's gonna be able to survive through that? What? Fog test the supernova. He's good. Oh my god. Naga Siren, by the way. This is uh this is the play. He's going for the Aghanim Scepter. I've been wanting to see this for so long. Let's take a quick little look at what this ends up giving you. It is ridiculous. Particularly when you're talking about tinky, tinky heroes. Like the uh the Centaur. Although he's gonna be walking into Pilot. I should be fine, but you take a look at what ends up happening. You end up being able to, um, wait, where's the Aghanim Scepter upgraded one? It's 10% 
uh, I believe, as the sun strikes and comes. You're able to dodge it for the moment. Mad still getting chased down, but Bambo should be able to pop Song if he wants to. So, Mad running out of there for the moment. Ryu can jump in onto this if he so desires. They are going to reinitiate a lot of damage coming out. They kill off one, maybe going to be able to fight the other. Yawar just tried desperately to escape, but the net not going to connect. And he doesn't have Ags up yet on the uh, Centaur, so no luck in terms of being able to find the kill. But you see right here, Song of the Siren lasts seven seconds. It recently got buffed from 6% of max HP uh, percentages heal to 10%. So if you pop Naga Siren Ultimate, what you end up getting is 70% of your max HP healed. Not the current HP loss, but max HP healed. So if you pop it in the middle of a fight, you are going to be back up to full HP on all of the heroes. All right, the jump in, Bambo is going to be in trouble. And yeah, she ends up being brought down. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to see it. I want to check out how intense the heal is because I haven't actually seen it in a game yet, but it's pretty great. <laughs> and they don't necessarily have to have, like, you know, the Radiance Naga Siren. This can be much more of the battle build, and then eventually go back for, like, a Diffusal Blade. All of a sudden, you can stay on top of one target, take away all that mana. Like, if he gets a Diff Blade off on you are, but and is able to just get a couple of right clicks with the Manta style, or with the Illusions there, it's pretty awesome. I'm still just waiting, though. God, come on, Bambo, do it for me one time. They've essentially got four cores that are all about trying to take a fight. And you've still got Naga for being able to break that high ground, which is going to be helpful. Crit does go down there. Damage is strong from your war. With Echo Saber and Shadow Blade. It's a bit of an issue. I want to see if there's a different effect. I really want there to be like a different effect on the allies as they're getting healed. And I wish there was a way to see in the battle, the fight recap, how much heal ended up being given. That's also something that definitely needs to be done. Is like a recap that shows how much healing you get. Well, top lane. Ryu, Blink, Hood. And go back to the pipe if he wants. And that's another thing that's pretty cool about this. They've also picked it in conjunction with the Centaur War Runner. So a hero that is naturally going to be able to do a lot of damage, but ends up hurting himself at the same time. So if you do it with a Naga Siren, now he's not going to be in as much trouble. You are maybe going to be able to find crit. Now he just jumps away, leaps out, and should be good. Drums, Midas, bots, Bambo. Takes the bounty rune, heads off on his merry little way. No biggie. Fog slightly upset, but he's going to be going back for the Aether Lens himself. Helping out Ritsu with the heals on these Ancients. And never hurts to pick up a couple of levels along the way as well. God, Matt is just so not afraid. Like, is he really going to do this? What is he doing? Alright, he goes for the Soul Catcher. I think that that hit. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he's just going to keep Pylai die at bay. It's pretty bold. Alright, let's take a look. Song of Siren regenerates all nearby allies for 10% of their health per second. So this is going to be awesome if we actually see it used to its fullest potential. Mad gets scouted out by Siwar and... Okay, yeah, he's gone. Can you disrupt Slark through Dark Pack? Like, does Dark Pack take off the disruption? Because I feel like maybe if he disrupts there and then goes for the TP, he survives. Could be wrong about that, though. I guess this doesn't work as well against the lineup that you've got of the Radiant, uh, as the Sunstrike is not going to hit, because you are going into a lineup where it's, like, inherently built around trying to find pickoffs as opposed to taking like these big, huge engagements. Throws a net on a pile I die, runs back. Dark Pack doesn't remove disruption. Okay. So yeah, he probably could have disrupted there and then TP'd and he would have been fine. The prize is mine. 
Oh, that might have been on cooldown or something, but it didn't look like it was. Oh, Ritsu is starting to get items. This is a little bit scary. Um... Hmm... Arrow not gonna hit on you, R. But he wants to party. He's going after him. Not gonna go for it as of yet. It'd be cool also, like, if this remove or lowered the cooldown. I think it might become, like, OP then. But if you could lower the cooldown of, of uh, your ulti with Naga Siren on Ags to, like, what would it have to be? Like, probably 40 or 50 seconds, because you're still are gonna be getting an Octarine eventually. That's when things start to get pretty nuts. <clears throat> okay, what's up next? It's still, I mean, it's starting to swing back into the Radiant's favor. You found pickoffs here and there. You've been able to you know, put yourself in a position to actually compete in this game again after a bit of a rough start and... It does still feel like it's that moment where Dyer are going to be able to have some trouble pushing in towards high ground. That being said, like, they've still got the tier 1 tower in the middle lane, which Yuvara is now going to take care of. But that's rough. And now it looks like they might try and pressure this. Nobody is coming back to defend. And they get a little bit of vision. Still nobody's coming back. Alright, Naga Siren Illusions are there. You've got Bambo who can make this happen. Crush not going to hit on the Phoenix. But that's a tier 3 tower gone, and no great way to stop this. Alright, you are. Thought about making something happen, but now with that, Dire can just back out, and they're good. Well, again, the Radiant are, are, are getting advantages here and there, but... I still don't know if they can take a team fight, though. I mean, if Oracle Huskar are allowed to just sort of do their own thing, that's going to be a problem, but I don't know. Oh, God. All right, Roshan. They... Uh, okay, they spot you are. They do have those sentry wards that are there, and smoke going to break. They is going to not quite hit there, but they do get bombed. All right, that's a pretty good combo here in the heals. You can see that Mad is getting a ton of regeneration, 101 per second. Still kind of doesn't matter. Everybody on the Radiant is full HP, so that wasn't necessarily the best song of the Siren that we've ever seen. Ritsu is going to be able to get that false promise, jumps on top of Bambo. No song this time around. Ryu trying to focus the egg, but it's going to end up popping on top of them, and they don't have any way to stop the amount of damage that's coming in. Ritsu just destroys, and Yawar has been left pretty much unchecked as well. Nice TP out there by MSS, but they do find four, and I don't really think that song was the way to make that work. Like, you've got to use that defensively in the midst Radiance of a team fight. Oh, man. That was just so much damage from the Huskar. Stun Strike not going to kill anybody. Are you casting memes tonight, your personal stream, or a different one? Um, I'm going to be casting it, I believe, on uh, one of the Beyond the Summit streams. Um... Okay, disruption, fine, mad. Try and keep them at bay for the moment, doing a bit of damage, and we'll see if he can, like, deny the Aegis or something, but that's the only real great play he could potentially make. Huskar still picks it up, and all fine and dandy. Annette gets thrown, but nothing doing off the back of it. I mean, Crit has been able to build into an Axe now on Marana, so they've got Wave Clear for days. But, I guess I shouldn't throw that all on Bambo either. It's not all his fault. Um, they weren't quite ready with the amount of damage that they needed. They really should have just tried to, like, TP out, so it was probably more a, a sort of group decision there, or there was maybe some confusion about if they should stay or if they should go. 
But if they are going to be fighting, then they kind of have to all be on the same page, which is letting everybody else go in first, soak up damage, and then Bambo coming in for the save. It's like Lucio ult, guys. Drop the beat. That's what it is. Naga Siren has dropped the beat from Overwatch. Oh my god. I need to stop talking about Overwatch. <laughs> Alright, you are. Dark packs that off for the moment. There's gonna be the counter. Look at the heals. 204 per second for Mr. Ryu. That is so ridiculous. He had so much heals from that pilot. I jumped in, crushed down. Fall gonna die as well. Oh my god, now Ritz is here though. Do they have an answer? Ow, Bambo might be in trouble and they are gonna end up going for the jump away. Drums keeping him alive for the moment, but still so many stacks up in this. They need to get a defensive disruption to keep him alive. I think he's three seconds. All right, no, he's good. He's out, he's fine. Meanwhile, Ritsu jumping after crit. He's gonna get disrupted for the moment. Yuar is here as well though, and that's gonna be a bit of a problem. No damage thrown out there for Ritsu. Bambo trying to run out, and Ryu is not going to be able to secure the kill. Okay, all right, all right. Oh! Get him! No! God damn it. All right. We will see how this goes. MSS. The 2,000 gold in the bank. You could just go for the blink next if he wants to. It won't be the worst idea in the world. Mad Aether Lens. Hasn't really progressed in items all that much. He's got 3,000 gold on the Naga Siren, so it looks like he is going to be saving up and going back for that Radiance at this point. Meanwhile, then Blink Marana. Just that massive burst of damage that comes out. And Centaur is going back for an negative scepter. Why not? Let's do it. I think that it should be good. Alright. Ryu needs to TP out. It looks like he's going to be good. At a certain point, you are going to pick up a Basher, though, and that's where things start to become a bit more of an issue. Although he's probably going to be going for Scotty first. A little surprise there. Okay. Ulti. TP out. Why not? <laughs> well, still about 2,000 gold away from it. They're really going to rely a lot upon the Marana being able to do that, like, sustain DOT as we have the arrow come through. Actually, Mad turns it back around. The jump was onto him, but he's able to survive through that. And very well played indeed. They find the return kill, and Yuar is going to be kicking him after that one. All right, Arrow, Ritsu, still controlled, might be brought down. Can they find a kill? The false promise. Oh, Ryu's in trouble now. They need to get in here and find some way to turn this back around, but no such luck. It just You're going to see the regeneration that comes after the fact on the Huskar is so absurd. Like, we were talking about it earlier, but I didn't look at what his full magic resistance was, but it was probably hovering somewhere around the, let's just say, 50% mark. Um... It ends up being able to get max magic resistance at 50%, plus the like sort of native inherent one or whatever. So that ends up meaning that instead of taking the full 360 damage that comes from Purifying Flames and then getting the 396, which ends up translating into that 30 whatever or so heal, um, he takes 180. So he essentially gets like double the heal that you would normally, plus when you have Vol's Promise, you get another double the heal. Okay, sun strength. The chronosphere is down. Um, oh god, no, Cameron, don't do it! Don't mess up me like this! Alright, we're fine. Pops arrow in the head one, one time on the Ritsu. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well. Net worth right around 2,500 and roughly 5,000 experience earned. 
Fog is going to be going back for that Ags after the Aether Lens was picked up. This is like, I feel like, the, just the de facto build now out of the Phoenixes. The amount that you're able to help out your team, it's both, both sides are playing like very defensive oriented lineups. And it's odd saying this, but in a certain way, like the Dyers is even more defensive than the, the Radiant. Like, as you're going to see Fog get taken out there, Radiance is finally now up and online for the Naga Siren. Oracle is very sort of one dimensional, obviously, for his defensive capabilities. Reed is going to get jumped on. They are going to be able to get out of there. The stun on the two. MG going to get brought down. And now Ritsu here as well. He needs to escape. There's a lot of damage coming out on top of it. And Ryu's definitely going to die. But everybody else should be able to escape from that one. Yeah, no, no great luck in terms of being able to break those TPs. But you've got like a lineup here that's the elements of hitting. Crit just doing things. Um, You've got the Axe from Centaur that's going to be that damage reduction. You've got the heals from the Naga Siren Axe. And then you've also got that single target uh, sort of saving capabilities with the Shadow Demon. Um, not to mention, like, Leap's bonus speed or whatever. Then you've got Oracle, which is super defensive, as well as Phoenix. But then all the other heroes are much more about, like, being aggressive. So, kind of interesting. Oh, man. I need to go mobile alone one after this. I think I'm going to have to take off, probably, unfortunately. I have a lot of things that I need to take care of before. Um, I've got casts later on tonight. So I'll probably host some else that's online doing stuff. I'm not sure if anybody... Something that doesn't always end up happening. I want to bring you guys whatever entertainment we can possibly afford, y'all. I am liking this game, though. When we've been seeing OG play, it's been a couple of, like, very unique drafts. There was the game the other day where it was, like, Fear playing the position three Dazzle. <laughs> Went, like... He didn't go Desolate. He ended up going Mech still. But it worked out, and it was really cool. Yeah, Ryu's streaming, but I think that he's going to stop to eat dinner afterwards. Alright, go Scepter. It's fine. Out of there. Throw's respawning soon. Got a pretty good capability of being able to take a fight around the Roche pit. Do we have Ags yet on Centaur? No, he's still around 1,700 gold away from finishing that one off. MSS is streaming as well. I'll probably host him if Ryu is off. This is the scary part, though, is that now you're Naga Siren with the Radiance up and online. They really can't take fights into this lineup, I don't think. I mean, you still need to be able to do that with Huskar, though. That's the problem. I don't know. It's feeling more and more difficult for them to win these games. Alright, net, arrow, in some trouble, he's gonna try and throw the damage out, the false promise gets off, he's still got a ridiculous amount of regeneration and heals coming through on top of him with the sunray and is gonna turn on to Ryu, back up to full, what is this game? Bambo still getting regeneration through this 189 per second, but it might not quite be enough. Oh man, he does manage to get out of there at the end. What the hell? I mean, I was talking about it. When he's down at nothing, he gets all that regeneration, and the heal doubled up two times through. Crit going to TP out and should be able to escape from that one. Not quite in range. Oh, Yawar might have been able to find that kill. He faced the wrong direction. He wasn't facing right at uh, the, the Marana. And so because of that, his Void ends up being able to take off the Shadow Demon. He had to turn to get the right click. But with the DD and the Echo Saber, he definitely could have found something. Alright, well they run into each other. You are realized it, although I don't believe that the Invoker did. He's getting close to Octarine now for himself. 
Naga Siren's still very, very large and in charge, and it's going to really start to ramp up in terms of the amount of heals that she got. Centaur actually is going to end up going back for the Force Staff instead, so... Ryu Dota not knowing what he wants to do. A little bit of confusion about what he needs to be happening. Okay, Crit just hits a little bit, tosses an arrow, and it's gonna go off on his merry little way. While I die. <laughs> Crit has just been... This is what NEL is for Crit. Practicing hitting arrows. And we did see there the power that you got with the, uh, the Oracle Huskar combo. It ain't no joke. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And with these, Ryu should be able to finish off his four staff. What else are we looking for now? Kills off the wild wing. And now it's gonna head on in to try and take down Roche. Meanwhile, it doesn't look like Radiant quite have an idea that this is happening. Faceless Void with a very odd set. Oh my god, it's terrifying looking. Oh god, this could be a problem though. Alright, right, Ritsu's gonna walk in the net. The arrow does not end up hitting onto him. Chronosphere connects onto two. Bambo and Mad, they might be able to turn this though as long as nobody ends up dying and dropping very low, but the song hasn't come out as of yet. The centaur does end up going down. Oh, if they could have hit Song right there and possibly after all the damage had been expended, they might have been able to take that fight a little bit better, but they couldn't keep Centaur alive. And there's going to be the initiation coming out with Song. Alright, the curse dive away. Crit in the midst of all of this, doing a decent chunk of damage. Pylai die. Still up here on the high ground. They haven't gone in yet. Supernova is still going to be sort of stoning everybody out. MG is not going to die. Sunstrike not there either. They don't have enough damage to find a kill. And it just, it's feeling like they're lacking what they need to find these kills. They don't have the damage. Mad tries to turn, but just gets dunked. Phoenix finds the kill. And meanwhile, bottom lane, MSS, just going to TP out of there. But you're seeing that this, this lineup from the Dire is really lacking in the damage that they need. Crit's going to cut the creep wave and TP back. Oh man, I'm gonna need to get some coffee before I end up actually going live later tonight. Not feeling super on it right now. So Halberd, Four Staff, Blink, Hood. The problem is, is that just all of the damage that's coming out with the exception of like Basically, this Invoker is magical damage from the Dire. And even Invoker is, like, a lot magical damage. And it's just leading to these situations where Radiant are able to sustain through it, and they can't really deal with it super effectively. We're not seeing a pipe as of yet, but... I don't know. Very odd. <clears throat> Very odd indeed. Void is starting to get a lot of damage too, with the Maelstrom online, as well as the Chronosphere getting thrown out there. The way that Bash works now. We get all that bonus damage. Hmm. MKB, all right, I like it, good stuff. They get the disruption, there's the Chronosphere. All right, good stuff. <laughs> Yawar gets hit by the arrow. It's about as good as a fight as you could hope for out of the, the dire side. Pylite dies, still taking damage, but it's gonna be fine through that Sunstrike coming, not gonna be enough. And even though they only had a couple of heroes around, they still end up making that team fight work fairly effectively for them. They actually throw the net on the courier to the full province off, or rather the uh, fortune's end off. Crit wants to party. They don't have an arrow. 
This could go like really badly awry. They end up being able to take off the Oracle. All right, so no save for the Huskar, but there is still gonna be the Supernova and now Mad just trying to walk away. It looks like they're gonna be fine for the moment though. Everybody on the side of the Dire is sort of spread out not wanting to jump in on these guys, but they can go for the follow-up. There's a Crush as well as the Arrow onto Fog. Ryu is taking a lot of damage, needs to be careful here. And Ritsu just does not even care. Another net, do they have another arrow? Four seconds away. There's going to be the invis. Still fine, crushed. Not going for the double edge as of yet. Ryu needs to get out of there, but they do bring down Ritsu finally. And now Bambo, looking for more, is going to be able to find Fog, and that's another kill. Yuar is here, as is Ritsu, slowed by the ice wall, but he jumps and that's going to be a dead Ryu. Now going after Bambo, he should fall as well, I believe. Didn't get the song off! Oh no! Now Mad needs to get out. I think that he got Bash there, the mini Bash coming in from the MKB, if I'm not mistaken. That Song of the Siren totally could have turned the tide of that fight. But as it stands, does not look like that's going to be the case. They are using these illusions to cut the creep wave to make it a little bit more difficult for the Radiant to push. But nonetheless, we're starting to see that the Dyer's lack of damage is being a consistent problem. 8,700 damage from that Huskar, and just no great answer at all. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Holy hell. MSS doing his best. They do summon those Forge Spirits and again cutting the creep wave. With one lane of barracks already gone. Like, that's pretty absurd. The creep cutting that happened in the bottom lane ends up translating into a whole lane of barracks along the bottom. As well as that tier 3 tower that had already been taken up in the top lane. So good things happening all around. <laughs> it's pretty solid. And you sort of see that there's like a ridiculous amount being done, but they're just capable of getting a lot done on the dire side without having to worry about really committing themselves fully, because you've always got that Song of the Siren for the save. And also canceling the TPs that want to go back. Well, does look like, at least for now, still keeping things rather close at hand. They don't want to overextend. It feels like maybe they're trying to bait out the Invoker on the bottom lane here. They don't have eyes on Ryu. Also don't have eyes on Mad. But nobody's falling for the bait as of yet. They are going to run into Fog here. If they see him, they might be able to just turn this, but they also have to worry about Fog coming in to try and save the day. He just sort of casually walks into three heroes. The fight is starting very awkwardly. Um, Alright, yeah, Mad in trouble. Not going to end up mattering. They don't get the save in time. Yeah, they need to get out of here. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Top lane was being pushed in at the same time by MSS, but not going to be able to take a second lane of barracks here. Okay, that was legit. E Blade Marana, you love to see it. <laughs> they still do a ridiculous amount of damage. You are chasing. Didn't spot out that he was there. And it does not look like he's going to be able to kill off this Marana. Well, top lane. Still going on to Ritsu. Tornado not quite going to hit there, but it does look like his buddy, Mr. Ryu, is going to be able to get out of there. This is what we've seen time and again, though, I feel like, out of these lineups. is like MSS just goes crazy and ends up taking a couple of lane of barracks himself, but Raiden end up being able to out-carry with Slark. And it just gets into the situation where you can't really do much to stop it. Bottom. Ritsu taking a lot of damage to the E-Blade crit, but not going to be able to find the kill. This is like all about just pick off, 
push out lanes, and then eventually slowly take them by, like, the process of breaking their spirits. I mean, it's an August Siren game. That's what it comes down to. That Bambo can keep these lanes constantly pushed with the Invoker, and then they have to worry about, like, three separate people that can find kills on them. Like, MSS can solo kill both of the supports, pretty much, and then you've also got to worry about the Marana, who can solo kill both of the supports. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Shadows take us. So it's kind of feeling like it's one of those losing battles Radiance that eventually. Is under attack. I mean, if they end up getting caught out by multiple heroes, as long as they play this well, they're not going to end up being in too much trouble. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Oh, Sunstrike not going to hit there. Not going to kill off Ritsu. Illusions heading in. Bambo just going to be cutting creep waves and hitting barracks. The slow destruction of the ranged barracks by the Nagasar and Illusions. The most frustrating thing to deal with in the world. Taking 10 HP at a time. Meanwhile, top lane, maybe going to kill off Pi Lai Dai. Looking for it. There's going to be the Hex as well as the Deafening Blast. And MSS finds the kill again. That's what I was talking about, is that you simultaneously have to be able to try and push out all of the Radiant creep waves on the Radiant side, while also not getting solo picked off. And then their Courier ends up going down, had cheese and a Mjolnir recipe on it. It's just this split-pushing game that they don't have a great answer for. And to really make those work best, you've got to be able to find the solo kills and... They can just do that so effectively. And it really doesn't matter whatever else is going on. You get the arrow down, doesn't connect onto Ritsu. So he's going to be fine. But every time this happens, oh god, you are taking a lot of damage. Nice, he's fine. They can just keep on sending these illusions and. The range barracks will slowly but steadily fall. And you can see that Ryu pulls them along the bottom lane. Eventually also tier 4s are taking damage here. Like, this is down to half HP at this point because that creep wave is constantly pushing in against it. I mean, if you have a straight up 5 on 5 team fight, if this is, if this is overthrow, then Radiant probably win late game. But at the end of the day, it's not about the number of kills that they get, and it's not even really about being able to win a 5-on-5 five -five engagement. It's much more about just slowly whittling down the racks, and the fact that if they leave their base, if they try and do a 5-man mid, the whole time that's going to be happening, you have creep waves and heroes that are going to be pushing in and taking your tier 4s and eventually just winning. So, I don't know. It feels like it's going to take a huge misplay, and it does all start with one play like that. I like to take, take a sun strike Radiant to the face. 900 gold swing, maybe in the middle though, something brewing. They're looking for a kill there, not gonna be able to find you are. They are going for the stampede, but yeah, it's all good and hunky dory. And guess what? While this is all going on, Ryu Dota taking down Roshan. Heart of Tarask finished with 322 gold. Oh, fuck, this game's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, and you can just see the, the, the anger, the frustration, because they can't do anything. Oh, man. It's a rough life. All right, Naga Siren Refresher. He's got so much gold already, it kind of doesn't matter. Didn't need to go back for the gift blade. The I'm assuming that's going to trade out his drums then? Since he's already got myth style. He can just keep on refreshing everything. But you can see they're leaving their, their base. They're heading out for a moment. And damage on the tier 3 towers, tier 4 towers. Radiance no great way to stop this. So they leave their base for a second, they get heavily punished. You do have the Mjolnir up on the Faceless Void. But this could be one of the problems. If Dyer get a little bit over eager, they're going to be moving into the, 
the Radiant base right now, and they don't need to make this move. They can keep the game at its status quo, but if they get picked off, if they overextend or go in too deep, they are going to get punished for this. Oh my god. Is Disrupt... Is Shadow Demon creating Naga Siren Illusions and sending them in as well? Oh, this is the true cancer. Oh no. Oh, this is not the thing that needs to happen. Look at this Oracle. The saddest Oracle in the world. He ends up getting killed off by all of the illusions, and meanwhile, Mad getting chased down. They've still got all of the heals that are coming through. He's taking 127 HP per second. The stun! Oh no, it's all gone wrong. He gets another one coming out, and look at his regeneration 300! They just don't have any way to kill him. Ritz's BKB is about to wear out, and guess what? The whole time through, you've also got MSS, Mojo Storm Spirit, taking down Elena Barracks. This is the worst. This is awful. You want to talk about cancers, you want to talk about Huskar being a, a disgusting hero. Let's talk for a minute about the Naga Siren illusions with the Shadow Demon. All that being said, he is going to pay for it there and now, trying to ensure their retreat, they all back out. Guess what though, they've already lost the second lane of Barracks, and Bambo is just going to sort of walk away dancing to himself. Oh my god. This is the worst. Another song. 300 HP heals per second. Do you see the heals? Do you see this? He's healing more when he's doing that than when he's in the fountain almost. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I always thought it was. Uh, this is just, this is the worst. This is the worst thing that's ever been invented. <laughs> it's just, you, you can feel the deflated energy of the, the Radiant. <laughs> like, alright, so you get Manta Style Illusions, they last for 20 seconds. You get the Mirror Image Illusions, they last for 30 seconds. Oh, you are guessed wrong. And then you also have the Disruption Illusions, which last 14 seconds. And all of these are on like a crazy low cooldown with the Refresher available. Mad is just hanging out here, does not want to get picked off, but kind of doesn't matter. All right, he's going to run away. Huskar's still chasing, and he's going to run up to the high ground. Oh, God. We can't actually stop them from doing that. The whole time through, all over here, the Nagasar and Illusion just going to town. They can't stop it. Well, one for one exchange already. And the tier three tower is almost dead. And they're going to send him in again. They can't stop this. Like, he has his song back up again in, in just a few seconds here. Also has the refresher available. And look at Bambo. He doesn't give a damn. All right, well, there's the song. They were able to kill off Faceless Void at the same time, keeping them stuck in. You are jumped onto one. It's going to be continued to hit away onto Ryu. 18, Essence Shift on the other side. Bambo taking a lot of damage. Still the song is actually going to end up finishing. 1,100 gold going their direction, and they do end up taking down one lane of barracks. Do they get another here? Fog dropping low. He is going to end up popping his ultimate and might be able to survive through this now. They need to get the hell out of dodge. And yeah, they're gonna run away. Radiant's Ancient is under attack. <laughs> That's something that you really don't want to hear. Leaps away, it's gonna be fine. These Naga Siren Illusions and the Forge Spirits, everything. Just destroying the hopes and dreams of the side of the Radiant. They're still jumping around in here and are almost gonna be able to kill all fog, but not quite. Ryu gets jumped on there by Ritsu. Uh, Huskar has a Rapier. Okay. Can they stop it though? They end up losing it. They're mega creeped. I don't know if it matters that he has a rapier. Okay, that's a lot of damage on the Ryu. Ritsu finds the kill. He's still gonna get glimpsed though, and the Sun Strike's gonna come out. So much damage dealt against Ritsu, and they they aren't stopping the Ancient getting killed. Like they're literally trying everything that they can to make this stop. And Bambo taking a good amount of damage from you are they are all going to die with the exception of MSS who's heading out of their ultra kill for you are. But by the same token as we're looking at this, it's just it's feeling like it's completely just a devastating blow. They can't push the lanes at all. Oh my god.
god. Ritz is going to try his best. He can push down these lanes. So they do eventually need to deal with them. But the problem is they've still got tier 2 towers up. I mean, these are going to fall very rapidly. But I think they can hold. The nice part about this is that, you know, you've got fog. This uh, Phoenix is going to be able to, to push out the lanes pretty effectively. I feel like they might have wanted to push this one one more wave. But maybe it's going to be enough. All right, Slark picks up a rapier. We might be able to do this. We could be in for a little bit of fireworks here as we finish this game off. This is not over. This is the moment where they could potentially do it. This creep wave is not going to be in a position where they're going to be able to rat it out either. So they need to get this one pushed down, but also refresh and get back in the midst of it. Fucking mad. He's going to be brought down. Now, suddenly, tier four towers on the menu. You want Ritsu. Where's your buybacks, buddies? Oh my god, do they not have a bamboo? Does not have a buyback for five minutes? What is happening? All right, they jump on you are Try and stop it for the moment. Oh god, all right, MSS trying to keep this team alive. The H is falling. They don't have a glyph. They don't have anything. They're not going to be able to stop it. He went for the stun, but ends up getting stunned himself. GG! Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> Oh!